Hello everybody, welcome back to DD214, The Answers. If you have not done the dictation, if you have not seen the original video, please click up here or down below in the uh, description. It's a great story. It's about two dogs. And the title of the story is actually Brotherly Love. Now, first of all, let me give you the answers. Gonzo and Pancho are lined up side by side, usually toward the back of the eight-member team. Now, this was actually a little bit tough, especially the uh, ending part. But in front, we have Gonzo and Pancho. Gonzo and Pancho are two dogs. They are Siberian Huskies. And here's the picture. Now, you can see one of the dogs is blind. And the dog's brother helps him when they run behind a sled. And this is a sled dog team. T-E-A-M. A team of dogs. So, you have to understand these pictures and then the story is easy. Now the names are Gonzo and Pancho. And the American spelling Gonzo and Pancho. Now, a lot of students were writing G-A-N-Z-O G, what's A-E-I-O-U. Whoops, where's the E? So let's practice the sound. Ganzo, Ginzo, Gonzo, Gunzo, Genzo. So these sounds are all different. Get the vowel sounds, the American English vowel sounds. These are short vowel sounds. Once again, the pronunciation, let's practice. Ganzo, Ginzo, Ganzo, Gunzo, Genzo. Okay? And we can practice with this too. We'll do uh, A E I O U. A E I O U. This is an A. Pancho, Pencho, Pincho, Pancho, Puncho. Pancho, Pencho, Pincho, Pancho, Puncho. Ganzo, Ginzo, Gonzo, Gunzo, Genzo. And once again, the names are Gonzo and Pancho. Gonzo and Pancho. Now, what's important to notice, this sound, we have a consonant, vowel, consonant, which makes the vowel sound a short sound, almost always short. But here, we have a consonant vowel, consonant vowel, which usually makes the vowel a long sound. So here, this is short vowel sound, and here, it's a long vowel sound. So we don't say ganza, we don't say ganza, we say ganzo. Pan cha, we don't say cha, we say cho. Pan cho, pan cho. So a good thing to remember, consonant, vowel, consonant, short vowel sound, consonant vowel, long vowel sound, okay? Not always, but almost always. So one more time, Gonzo and Pancho are lined up side by side, lined up side by side. So they are put in a line. So there's a, here's the sled, this is the sled, and then we have dogs here, 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 and here. Okay, these are all dogs, all right? Can you see this? Yes. So, Gonzo and Pancho, Gonzo and Pancho. This is Gonzo, this is Pancho. They are lined up side by side. Instead of side by side, we could say next to each other. They are lined up next to each other. Each other. Next to each other. Okay? Um, I have uh, some history books, and I'll show you. They're on a bookshelf, but these three books are all from the same publisher. This is the landmark Thucydides, the landmark Herodotus, and 
the landmark Xenophons. Okay, so it's all about history. But these books are from the same publishing company, and on my bookshelf, I line them up, I put them in a line side by side or next to each other. Oh, they're heavy. Okay? So this is the idea of lined up, lining something up side by side next to each other. So Gonzo and Pancho are lined up side by side. Usually. Now, almost nobody says usually. Some people say usually, usually. But most Americans will say usually, usually, usually. So it's a U. And then a jli, jli, it's like a Z-H-L-Y, one syllable. Usually, usually, usually toward. Oh, now nobody says toward, toward, toward. Some people say toward, but most people say toward, toward. And it sounds basically like this, one syllable, usually toward. Usually toward, usually toward, usually toward the back, usually toward the back. And here, of course, the D and the TH go together. Toward the, no, toward the, toward the, usually toward the back, usually toward the back. So this is the sled, this is the front, and this is the back. So usually toward the back of, which back? Of the eight-member Team, the eight member team, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a team of eight sled dogs. A team of eight sled dogs. But here we're using this as an adjective, so we do not say eight members team, we say an eight member team, the eight member team. And you should include a hyphen in this situation, okay? So it's not too bad. Let's say it together. Gonzo and Pancho are lined up side by side, usually toward the back of the eight member team. Now remember, we usually say usually and toward, lined up, lined up, and everything else is okay, I think. Yeah, not, not too bad. Well, let's read it together two more times. We'll do it normal and then a little bit faster, okay? Here we go. Gonzo and Pancho are lined up side by side, usually toward the back of the eight-member team. Gonzo and Pancho are lined up side by side, usually toward the back of the eight-member team. Once again, the story was really nice. One of the dogs lost his sight, and he became blind, and his brother helped him. And even when on the dog sled, he would, like, pull him and teach him how to run. He would tell him to slow down, and one time, he even pulled him out of the snow. It's a really nice story, and it's about brotherly love, but the message is, it's about love. And even animals can show this love towards each other. So why can't humans? Why do we have to hate so much? I know most of you guys are able to show love. And when we talk about love, remember, love is not, oh, I love you. It's not love. It's about respect. I think the better definition of love is Respect and appreciation. So respecting each other. Respecting different people. If you don't like something, you don't have to say anything. Just go and be free. That's what I do. Well, this story once again shows that love is not just between humans. It's also between animals. It's kind of inspirational. Now, our next daily dictation, DD215, will be a little bit longer, and it's also a very interesting story. I wonder if it's true. Good luck. I hope to see you next lesson. Bye-bye.